Hi everybody, my name is Stacy. And I'm Sharon. Cheboy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we already said that I'm going to be called Sharon of now. Ah, uh, no worries. So welcome to our podcast. So in this podcast, what will you be doing, Sharon? <laughs> okay, before we start the podcast, what's the podcast name? Because I am part of the podcast, but I don't even know the name. The podcast name is Having Bird. African Having Having Bird Podcast. Mm-hmm. So it's a book podcast. What we'll discuss is we'll we'll do book reviews. We'll talk about everything books, authors, Kenyan authors, African authors, authors of the world. Yeah, basically. There's a problem though. Uh huh. The last book I read <laughs> was <laughs> I was in high school. <laughs> and that's almost ten years away. Nasomanga <laughs> any tweets. Um to for anything above two forty characters, Isha <laughs> Nichosha. <laughs> no, but genuinely I'm not saying that as something to be proud of. I'm yeah. actually very embarrassed about it. Mm. But the love of my life, who is <laughs> seventy two hours into my life, um, is a reader. So I What's think his name? No, no. What's no, no, her I'm name? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Inclusivity, <laughs> diversity, they them, you know, they them. Mm-hmm. It's twenty three, love wins, mm-hmm. but it's a man, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, but oh, he loves to read, and I hope that when he becomes the actual love of my life, uh, I actually start to pick up the reading habit as you have. So will you send this link to him after the podcast has dropped? I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. Do I? I'll send it to him for you. And that's how you'll have to run a podcast on yourself on your own. I'm sorry, but see, yeah. it's a bit too. Anyways, so. This this particular episode, what you're going to do is um, icebreak king questions. Yeah. Let the listeners know about us, our reading habits, cultures. Or none or of the none. Lack <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so, Sawa, are you ready to shoot f- with the questions? Um, I've been here for around two hours. Thanks to our podcast manager coming in late, but that's besides the point. I'm ready. But they bid in a kungodza. Podcast manager yeah, for keeping us <laughs> waiting. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the first question I can start off is yeah. ebooks or physical books? For me, I'd say both, depending on the situation. But I really want to to buy a Kindle. Like my man? <laughs> <laughs> because reading on phone is quite hectic because there's a Why? lot of dis- distractions. You get distracted a lot. So I prefer having a Kindle than reading through a phone. Are your app notifications turned on? Like, is it a pop up because you all the time? No, but I just don't trust myself. So, mm. so you are the then. problem, you lack ah. self control, <laughs> you need to work on that on therapy. Ah. So, you need to pay therapy. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Thank I'll you. I'll you money for the therapist. So, but also, I prefer physical books mm-hmm. for the aesthetic yeah. also. Yeah. And what about to be you? able to shoot TikToks and follow the trends, which I support. I love that. For aesthetics. Yeah. So, for me, um, as I said, I've, I haven't read a book for the last five or so years. <laughs> what is the last book you read, Sharon? I think I read... Wait, do I you mean, buy books? So let me tell you. Okay, tell me. Yes, what you should be sure last year. <laughs> Wait, last you, know, year. you know a Bible is a book? Okay, that, then I, ha- I haven't read it either, so. <laughs> <laughs> so last year, last year for so Easter, yeah. I was like, oh, we have a long weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, let me explore some other hobbies. So okay. I went into textbook center. Mm-hmm. I bought like five books. I spent almost 8,000 Kenya shillings. On those books, hey, and it's in been almost one year, you, you know, like generational But wealth. you can gift me if you're not reading. I'll actually give them to you. But no but pressure, I no pressure, no pressure, exactly. So it's been one year already since I bought those books. I mm. haven't opened any. Mm-hmm. But as I as I said, I hope that now that I have a man in my life <laughs> who has a Kindle and is oh a reader, goodness. he's going to help me read. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but um, the last book that I read was, I think it was Khalid Hussein. Ah. Um, a Thousand Little Stars. And it, was very, it was a very sad book. And I like sadness. I think that part- particular author is known for sad books. Yeah, and he's exactly my vibe. I like sad things. I like sad people, sad music, breakup songs. Um, but you know what's weird? 
is your personality is totally opposite. <laughs> I know. I mean, I'm wearing yellow, so <laughs> I'm sunshine and rainbows, but uh-huh. but it's fine. Um, but yeah, that was the last book I read, and it was quite a while back. Maybe in oh, 2021. It was a physical book. And it wasn't a physical book. It uh-huh. was a soft copy book. Um, you finished it? Yeah. The, for no, the first time, I, I, I do finish some things in my life. <laughs> some things. Okay, okay. But what about you? When was the last time you read a book to its completion and which book was that? To completion is was December. So our book club was reading this book called Wahala, which I didn't like. Why so? <laughs> it had annoying characters. <laughs> you know those characters that you just want to slap them because Students, what are you fine. doing? Like sister, have a brain. Ni wajinga, brain amani, too. Like, I want to call don't them don't wajinga mean. but mm. they were just too naive. Mm-hmm all trusting yeah. and things like that. Speaking of book clubs, yeah. how many book clubs have you been in? In your lifetime? Uh, around four. Mm-hmm. One, I formed it, but it died a natural death <laughs> before it even started. Which, are the like people <laughs> that, which, which people did you add on to that book club that you started and why did you ask me? I don't think we were, we were close at that oh, time. Oh, that time. Okay, so we were It was around... <laughs> <laughs> We were not close at that time. Mm-hmm. But I started, we started with our WhatsApp group. Then yeah. we were like two of my friends, Daisy and Kasha. Mm-hmm. But they just did follow through. And me, I was lazy at that time. Not yeah. lazy per se, but I had lots happening. Mm-hmm. So it just did. And we never met. You know, when you meet with people, then we're going to psych. Oh my God, it we should read. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But the psych just died. And we didn't start it. Did you even finish a book? In no, we just suggested book a book. Okay. But we didn't even meet up or <laughs> <laughs> physically. Or Failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Failure. <laughs> we take uh, it. Okay. Because uh, that's the fine. second one was when I was in campus. Mm-hmm. It did well, but eventually... Uh, died off. Died off. Yeah. The third one was this that I'm in right now. Mm-hmm. It was introduced by Whitney. Shout out Whitney. Yeah. I love you so Shout much. Out to Whitney. <laughs> also, I love that group, uh, book club. It's mm-hmm. called Not Nadi. Mm-hmm. Not Nadi Book Club. Yeah. Yeah. So I have never been in a book club. So you can join um, us. I would actually want to. And when the year started, one also, of my resolutions. Also, there are like a few men in that podcast. So encouraging our podcast manager <laughs> <laughs> to be a reader as well. To be a reader. We hope he and a book club member. We hope he does. And if he us. doesn't become a reader, become a book club member. Yeah. For the vibes. For the vibes. Kuna <laughs> <laughs> The buys in hell. The buys in hell. <laughs> jokes, uh, jokes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I haven't answered the question of e-books or physical yeah, books. Yeah, yeah. Um, as I said, I haven't read in a long time. For me, I don't think it matters as much mm. because I have physical books that I've never read. It's been almost one year. Yeah. I also have e-books or other access to e-books that I also haven't read so maybe i'm just not much of a reader or i'm just a lazy person who needs better but hobbies. you have other hobbies yeah no uh, do i though do i Kupanda sorry, this is no this is a book podcast so let's not talk about hiking and the toxic relationship between hiking okay so yeah okay the next question mm. is fictional or non-fictional books so i choose fictional mm-hmm. over non-fictional yeah why because there was a time I used to love nonfiction, but my reading slump was so high at that time. It meant aspire me- to perspire before you expire. Not really. Sapiens. Not not in motivations. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> like that. I'm sure you've read Five Habits. I have heard of it. Five book. Habits. Yeah, you've heard it. Yeah, I've heard it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. No, Atomic Habits. Thirty-five Habits. Oh. Five atomic, okay, atomic yeah. habits, okay. mm-hmm. five habits of an effective person. Of and, and the book doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> but oh you're not sure people will go to hell. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> women are liars. <laughs> um, I mean, atomic habits, such books. So it's not necessarily be inspired, be, oh, be yeah. inspired before you expire and such. Factual, it's more factual. Like, okay. Yeah. I'd say fiction now myself because yeah. I need party reading slump and I find it easy to complete fictional as opposed yeah. to non-fictional. Yeah. Yeah. But once in a while, let's say once in six months, 
I'll d- I'd read non-fiction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Depending on the mood. Depending on the mood. I mean, as I said, um, I haven't read a book in a long time, but the last book I read That's was okay. non-fiction. And I'll, I, Not applicable, the, this question. <laughs> <laughs> N-A. But all the yeah. books that I read or that I bought last year were non-fiction, no, were fictional. Uh, so I would for sure lean into fictional books. Okay. I don't want to read about the politics and yeah. the habits and to teach me how to live life. I want to read about monsters <laughs> and war. And oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted had, to ask you a question. Okay. Like the books which you bought, can you remember the titles? I do. Um, I bought Seven Husbands of Evelyn Ooh. Poole. I nice. bought, okay, I bought a, fic- a non-fiction one called Dead Aid. I bought, I think, two of What's his name? Gugi Wadiongo's books. Oh. Read I Africa. Think one more. Actually, two of them were non-fiction. Oh, so okay. As I was trying to change my career, which never happened, but so for another day. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. Do you want to read the next one? Mm-mm. Just read. Okay. Favorite book, essay, tweets, articles, or poems? I mean, it's NA for me. So what's your favorite book so far, Stacey? To choose a favorite is so difficult. Please don't pull that. Oh, but I love my true. children equally. No, I don't love my children equally. Okay. Kuna books ni now kwambia to by the this was a eh, waste of time. Kumbaya. But we won't say that because we are supporting creatives. Yeah, supporting creatives. Yeah. Um, but a favorite book I'd say that changed my life, and when I say changed my life, see at high bar. Not high bar. I mean like it's. I read it. And from it, I got some inspiration. Yeah. Or, yeah, I'd say Big Magic. It's mm-hmm. by Elizabeth Gilbert. Is it a fictional book? Nonfiction, okay. weirdly. Because it talks about creativity, imposter syndrome, and so many things that a creative would struggle with. Would struggle with. Not that I'm a creative, but just anyone, even an accountant, can read that book. Denial is a river. Ah, shut up. <laughs> In Africa. <laughs> Even an accountant can read that book okay. and you'd you'd find some insights that will yeah. help you. So we had Lim, my favorite book so far. Okay. It's a nonfiction. Yeah, we had Lim. Which is fine. Yeah. Do you read essays and short stories? I do. Um I not a lot. Mm. Uh but Chimamanda Ngozi Adiche writes The Love of My Life. Oh, really? No, I, <laughs> I really enjoyed reading her books. I yeah. don't... The weird thing about me when I read books is that I mostly don't remember the storylines. Mm. I know I read the book and I completed reading it, but I don't remember much about it. Yeah. But yes, I did read Papa Libiscus. I read mm. We Should All Be Feminist. She writes read, really beautiful. She does read. And it's such a simple way of writing that yeah. I really enjoy. Mm. That I can also apply in my day-to-day writing simply. I think Shimamanda was one of the authors that... Made me a reader. Yeah. Mm. What was I saying? Essays. She has read quite, quite a couple of essays. I remember the one for grief. Yeah. Is that an essay yeah, as yeah, well? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Then she has a website where she has some of her essays mm-hmm. and they're really beautifully written. Yeah. So, yeah. Love that. What about articles and poems? Oh, actually, poems is such an interesting topic. Do you read poems? <laughs> Let me tell you before we move on, uh, I have a confession. Confess. I'm not a big fan of poetry. Um, I cringe when I watch people perform So poetry. is it watching or reading that you don't like? I think I, I haven't read any poetry, yeah. written poetry material yet. But see, I've introduced um, you to Mombi. Yeah, Stacey has done a lot of work in the last <laughs> one hour to introduce me to When Mombi. our podcast manager was, was we were waiting for him. Us up, but that's besides the point. Um yeah, so I think I'll, I'll actually give poetry a chance, reading poetry a chance. I'll give I'm you this a book big fan after of watching. this. Okay. You read you. it. I'm not a and big... And tell me what you think, honestly. Sour. Atakama, you don't like it. Just... Um, honest is the best, is the best virtue, so I'll try. And today I noticed Sharon with truth. <laughs> <laughs> left, anyway. right, left, right, left, right. Yeah. But yeah, um, the next question... The book or tweet that you think... Uh, did you add the tweet thing because you, of me? For you, yes. <laughs> you also consider it. Yeah. Consideration is the biggest form of love. <laughs> um, what book or tweet do you think everyone should read? I'd say... I'd say Big Magic. Mm-hmm. 
Why is it for the same reasons that you mentioned? Yeah, for the same reasons. Because as we are navigating career, hobbies, relationships, relationships, <laughs> everything, there are some principles which you need, mm -hmm. which can help you. Yeah. Also, Elizabeth Gilbert was keen on insisting that you know how people there is output and input. Mm -hmm. What matters to you? What matters at the end of the day is the input you put. Like outcome. What does input mean in this case, though? Like the work what you, you take put. in. Oh, okay. the, the work. You <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> so it's the work you put in in whatever you want to do to okay. get the output, input, mm -hmm. output. So a lot of us struggle with output, the results, mm -hmm. as opposed to the input that we put. Yeah, the input that we put, that we take. <laughs> Yeah. The inputs that we give into an output, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Elizabeth Gilbert just navigates um, on how to not stress yourself in the output because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You just do your best in whatever you're doing with the inputs. Sasa. With the inputs, mm -hmm. that's what you can control. Actually, the output is neither here nor there, but mm -hmm. of course, you expect the best. Yeah. I think with the face of my life that I'm in right now, I think I should read that book. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll continue. I'll share with you the the ebook. E okay, mm. uh, Asante. So, uh, the tweet what about you? Read, I think more <laughs> people should read um, fictional stories mm. um, because sometimes you go online and someone only speaks about a specific genre of books. But then, who am I to dictate what you should read? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have no tweet recommendation. That Kwanza squeezing it to X. I, I genuinely, it's been almost one year, and I'm still not used to that. It's been one year. Where does almost time go? Year. Time flies like a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think more people should just read more fiction and just read for fun. Yeah, exactly. I remember that someone early in the year twat tweeted <laughs> tweeted <laughs> that. Nisawa umesoma vita busaba since the year started, but what's your retention? And it's like, d sometimes you don't really need to retain books. You can uh. read books for the short fun of it. Um, yeah, so more people should read just for fun. I think I do read for fun, actually. Because yeah. mm. I don't believe also reading equates to, like, intellectual growth, growth per se. Because mm -hmm. you might find people who read a lot in kwa, kwa brain. Nairobi. Nah. But also you might find people who don't read and they're smart or oh, yeah. intelligent as well. Yeah. So I don't think reading equates to intelligence. Case in points. My co host <laughs> boy in the in the flesh. Exactly. Thank you so much. Mm. Next question. Who are some of the Kenyan authors that you enjoy reading? And what is their work? You want to go first? Um, no, I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. And a okay, <laughs> not applicable. Yeah. So, I like Kenyan Drink Company. Oh yeah, the banker. Yes, mm. the banker who writes. Who has worked at Sanchat for almost twenty years? Is Don't that ask public me how information? I know that. Yeah, it is. Okay, it is. so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he writes really well. Mm -hmm. Very simple, and you. What are some of his works? Some of his works are of pawns and players. Mm -hmm. um, the the villain, eh, Molo Villian. Mm -hmm. Let me not butcher his title, yeah, but he's written him. around five books, which are really nice. Yeah, and I've read two of them, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Yeah. Also, with the fact that he's Kenyan, most of his names and the places he mentioned. It's correlatable. Unajua happening gara. It's so relatable. Yeah, I get it. Also, his stories are so nice. And it would really be nice if Afanya Ikwe movie some of his books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to make a No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I think the only Kenyan author that I have read was John Thatia. Um, ah. And what's the book's name? Um, Money something. Things my, my daughter. My daughter. Something about my daughter. I think she's written a book that I really love. Quite recently. Which one is that? The Confession of Nairobi Men. Oh, yeah. Uturi, are you playing? You got a trigger warning. I don't know if it has it a has trigger warning. It has a trigger warning. Oh, really? what, what are people talking about in that book? Because I've seen many the people The experience of men in Nairobi with love. 
Nairobi. <laughs> But yeah, so f- I read that book in 2020, COVID. Yeah. And I think that's why I don't like fic- non-fiction. Okay. Yeah, I think I prefer more storytelling <laughs> ways. I read the entire book. I bought all of them okay. and I read them. Um, but I really enjoy reading a book that <laughs> builds a story. Okay, get it. My, my ogre, my <laughs> like something else that isn't okay. asking me to put my money where my mouth is. Like, Okay, yeah. but yeah. I feel like those specific topic like money, Self-help. it really needs you to read it when you're at that in state that of mind. Like exactly. you want to know about money? Okay, here's a book about money. Read it. Mm. It would serve you better as when opposed fiction, to you can read aimlessly. Exactly. exactly. As opposed to you're just chilling. Really you want something point. to entertain yourself. No, we need to about pesta and how you're not saving forex uh, exchange. Exactly. Sapiens. Mm. Anyway, yeah. So the next question. How do you choose the book to you read next? That you read next. My Availability. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is the book club suggestions. Are you, any, are, you in, are you in any book club right now? We've talked about it, yes. No, I know. The, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, is yeah, it yeah. an active book club? Yes, do yes, you yes, read yes. books every month? Yeah, every ah, month. Okay, so there is a book you decide. That's, that's we, that you read. Yeah. Okay. That one, then recommendations from bookstagrammers and book talkers. Book talk. Yeah, makes mm. sense. Okay, no comment from my end. But now that you're you're in this podcast, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to be a reader f- as of today. No pressure, the, though. No, I actually it's a habit yeah. that I want to pick up. My man's my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. He doesn't know that I'm calling him my man. <laughs> But you're manifesting. manifesting. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just you know, enjoying that he exists in my okay. life. So. I support you. Yeah. But I think I would also, okay. if I were to be a reader, I would also use the same metrics. Recommendations from friends. Yeah. Or book exchanges that we have. Mm. We took a maizo. Accessibility so as well. Yeah. And the price of the book. Yeah, because books are not cheap. Books are not cheap. Mm-mm. Hiya, the next question is, if you could have dinner with one author, who would it be and why? I have an answer. Do you want to say what I want to say? No, no, no. But no. just say. Mine would be Khalid Hussein and ask uh. him how well, how how he was able to absolutely bring out the sadness and make me cry after reading a book. <laughs> I mean, crying? the book was about war, yeah. so it makes sense. Mm. Um, but he writes so beautifully, it's so simple in mm. the way that he writes. Um, and it's easy to follow. Hivo. But yeah, so I just want to understand... Where he gets all the sadness. I mean, I like sad stories, but hey, you're okay, quite extreme. Well, what about you? But you know, you'd cry in that date. Miss Awa, I mean, like, you know, you're a macho. Miss Yogopi Kulia. Embrace vulnerability. I haven't, cried in, I haven't cried in a while, so maybe it may, might be about time. Yo. Anyways, hmm. which I, other would you want to have dinner with? I would choose. The love of my life, the, the brilliant, the smart, the witty, the hilarious Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah is an author, by the way. I know, Born a Crime. Yes, mm-hmm. and that's, I think, that's the only book I've read that has so much humor. Like, it's a page turner. I have humor. That book. Oh, you you have it? I do. Or have I have it? access to it. I haven't read it. Yeah. My bad. Mm. I think I'll. Re- many people I've had nothing but good reviews about the book and how yeah. funny it is. Oh my goodness. And how beauti- beautifully he writes about South Africa. Yeah. But um, I have a crush on Trevor. And if you read my blog, you'll know. You knew? I did not know. I just know you friend? hate Githeri. You <laughs> love Githeri and you hate cats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trevor no would definitely be the author I chose okay. to have dinner with. Yeah. What you, who would pay the bill? See him because he's a Jack man. Pesa. On a mark, oh, he's, he's a, a man. man. Yeah. Pachaki. <laughs> um, Plus, yeah. Pesa. Yeah. Yeah. When did I you think? D- I you, think. We, think <laughs> no, we all know that. We all know that. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, when did you When did you discover that you love reading? Go first. When did you discover that you love? Do reading? you love reading, Sharon? Um, I think I do. Mm-hmm. I like lo- I love the idea of being able to read, but I'm just lazy. Yeah. And I scroll a bit too much on social media. So you read X tweets. I that doesn't count. Like to okay, s- I know the true. the buy is in hell, but we can't count tweets as reading. Um I don't read. I agree. I prefer to read more long form content. 
I was a reader when I was younger. Oh. Um, yeah. How old are we talking about? I was, I was wise at high school. So maybe <laughs> 14 to 18. That okay. was almost 10 years ago. Okay. Um, but did you really like it? Or I, I genuinely liked it. I read okay. books that weren't part of the curriculum. Okay. So, so um, it, or maybe I was just miserable and was looking for a distraction Ooh. from high school. So could be any, but a win is a win. Yeah. Um, but I genuinely want to get back into reading. I feel like it would be one You're of those the right things place. that it's a nice hobby to have. Yeah. I don't know post TikToks or book talk. Like, I have zero posts. <laughs> I need to use a hashtag, at least one. As you have the books already. It's I have just the books. I'm just start. lazy. I'm just lazy, yeah. So, what me, about you? I do you love reading? Love, I do love reading. I mean, you have a podcast about books. So. Yeah. So I discovered I love read. Eh, I love <laughs> to <cook> a book. <laughs> and, uh, <for> <laughs> anyway, I discovered I love reading in high school, uh-huh. and I remember the specific time. It was during KCSE time. Mm-hmm. So you know how people KCSE you just revise for exams. Yeah, I used to have this novel. Mm-hmm. Hey, we are smart people. We revised oh, okay. and we passed. So, Thank you very just much. Just confirming. Just confirming. Thank you very much. So me, at that point, to reduce the pressure, because A, it was also high pressure, mm-hmm. I used to read novels. Yeah. Weirdly, right now, I can't even remember the title, but I just know, knew from reading, it like relaxes me. Yeah. It is therapeutic from all the pressures of the, the like some biology. Eh, biology, here, chemistry, and physics. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I yeah. think at that point is so when an, I that time, knew mm-hmm. reading is the love of my life. And it's a good escape. It's a very okay. good ex- escape. Yeah. That's Me nice too. to know. Mm. Why did you start this podcast? The Hummingbird podcast. I mean, it was Hummingbird humming podcast. Hummingbird. Okay, Sawa. <gasps> Mostly Why? it's because, like you, I noticed that if I read a lot of books, I forget it. And what a better way to document my reading in form of podcasts. Exactly. Also, through much convincing by our mm-hmm. able podcast manager, Motori. <laughs> Who kept us waiting for an hour? <laughs> this Zab- is the third time. Zab- apologize, <laughs> Bado, baby. Zab- apologize. <laughs> like, just say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not asking for too much. Sorry I kept you waiting. Yeah, also Motori made it possible. Yeah. Um, then... In the past, I didn't know shout out. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, apparently, the books I post on my Instagram and TikTok, TikTok, I influence people to buy and read. Mm. And I'm like, okay, so I'll transfer podcast. Yeah. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Um, but to a regular guest, please. Mimi, I am down for anything. Thank well, you. Sharon, Ukwapi. I'll come. Santa. Yeah. Uh, now now that we, you have this podcast, I'll start reading a book. Thank you. Yeah. And I think those are all the icebreaker questions. Um, yeah. Do you have anything to add Nothing. for the first episode of the podcast? I think How we'll often will you be posting? I'm uh, to say, okay, to, be be pleasure. Be, to be discussed. <laughs> to be, we just arrived. We just arrived. We just arrived. When? <laughs> okay. Sawa, sawa, basi. I wish you all the best. Thank you so um, much. I'm always happy to be part of the podcast. Yeah. Um, I'll recommend tweets to read <laughs> and books now that we've decided that for today I'll start being a reader. But I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Utakwa regular, baby. Si kwa kufanya, so... <laughs> Nikasema, kuna kitu wapa. <laughs> Utakwa regular, just so you genuinely, know. Genuinely, genuinely, Stacy. Yeah. Like, any time. Yeah. Unembe tu Sharon, twende, I'll come. Thank you. I'll just come and yapa, yapa, yapa. Mutu yu Ah, yeah. Sawa. So, I think that's all for our first yeah. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining. Have Thank a lovely day. Thank you for day. listening. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely night. Or morning, like, share, subscribe, or what podcasters say. Oh, that's I what am. they say. Okay, so yeah. bye. Bye.